In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for lead to acetate plus potassium iodide. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. So when we look at the molecular equation, I have one iodine here and then two here. Put a two in front of the potassium iodide. Now I have two potassium atoms and just one here. Put a two here. And that works out well because that two times our acetate. We have two acetate ions and then two acetate ions here. So those are balanced. We have one lead, one lead. So we're good. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. So acetates are very soluble. So that's going to be AQ, aqueous. It's going to dissolve, split apart into its ions. Potassium compounds, also very soluble. Here we have potassium acetate, so that will be soluble. But whenever I see lead, I'm a little bit cautious. I like to look that up on a solubility table, especially when it's bonded to something like iodine, chlorine, or bromine. So when I look up PBI2, I see that it's insoluble. That means it's going to be a solid. When these two substances react, it'll form this solid PBI2. That'll be a precipitate. That'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. So we have our states now for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. So when we look at this here, we don't know what lead is because it's a transition metal, but this whole acetate, one you should remember, has a one minus. Since we have two of them, this has to be two plus. So we have the lead two ion, and I won't write aqueous each time. Let's do that at the end. And I have two of these acetate ions. For the potassium, potassium group one that has a one plus iodine forms the iodide ion one minus. So I have two potassium ions and then two iodide ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we had a plus in this whole thing here. The acetate is a minus two potassium ions again, plus two acetate ions. And then for net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we just have PBI2. So this is our complete or total net ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So we have two acetate ions here and the reactants. And then again, two in the products. Let's get rid of those. Two potassium ions here in the products. And what's left, this is the net ionic equation for lead to acetate plus potassium iodide. I'll clean it up and add the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for lead to acetate plus potassium iodide. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two plus here, two times one minus, that's two minus. So these add up to zero. We have a neutral compound here. So the charge is balanced and the atoms are balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for PbC2H3O2 2 plus Ki. Thanks for watching.